Folk Species 7 here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sit 15. <laughs> oh, that's good. Farm Simulator 15 Gold. And I am here having a look at the Oltenheim map. I'll show you that because we all know how good my German pronunciation is. There you go. Welcome to Oltenheim. Okay, as you can see, uh, Universal Process Kit, uh, Mist Mod, Multi Fruit. This is a map by two more. It also includes the map viable objects. So we've seen a couple of maps so far that have done that, and uh, some better than others. We'll see how this one stacks up. Um, I have been over the map. I have a couple of small issues with it, um, but for the most part, really good. And uh, yeah, see that's just creepy. You see that? freaking rats everywhere on this map. Um, before I get too far, I'd kind of like to just say uh, thanks to everybody for your kind comments about my missing cat. Um, no, he hasn't shown up yet, and uh, yeah, not, uh, not a happy home on this end of things, I'm afraid. I've pretty much decided I'm just going to cancel Christmas this year. But to those of you that haven't, which is everyone else, I do hope you are having a Merry Christmas, as I assume. That's actually when this is going to be posted. So, uh, hope you're all with family and friends, having a great time, and uh, if you are, thanks for taking a few minutes out to check this out. Let's uh, carry on here with Altenheim, shall we? Here we are on the farm. This is where we spawn in this massive farmhouse with the uh, lovely boxes of oh pictures of apples and uh, a box full of bread and rolls which again oddly enough those birds flying around seem even less interested in the bread than they do the rats a little bit of starter gear some nice stuff windrow tedders uh, mower yeah kind of might have put that away without another piece of gear parked on top of it. Little T6, so we have a front loader available. Uh, is that the poop and spreading model? I do believe it is. Oh, possibly. No, that's just uh, a trailer. Alright, we get the Vatterstat Cedar, New Holland Baler, Round Baler, the Roll Belt. Uh, a little bit of gear here and there. Uh, over here, and I have loaded animals in just so we'd see how and where they all fit into the picture. I think this is just a decorative block of aluminum with some fancy decals. Uh, liquid pooping out and spout. This is the main cow shed. As you can see, water mod is included. And we haven't yet, uh, good morning ladies, had any of the, oh, this one's heading there. No, you're just heading, I don't know that they can actually... Yeah, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Although I suppose it's not. I would imagine that if you wanted your cows in the shed, as opposed to a lot of maps where they just wander freely in and out, I guess you would take them there at certain times of the day. Uh, animation map trigger is required, although not for this building, which has an automatic function. So there we go. A little bit more gear placed for... What do we got here? Seed? Maybe? No, that looks more like ferts. Yeah, it is too, hence the fertilizer thing. There's our solid pooping from the cows. Perfect. All right, so there's that. Oh, as you can see, we do have a feed mix station. Nicely empty, I would assume. Absolutely perfect. All right. Again, there's our liquid poop. Not sure what these are, but... Uh, Perhaps if you need to practice your hurdles before you head off to work in the morning. We've got a water fill-up point here. The uh, log trough and concrete and wood spout that Farm Sim has decided should be the thing for FS15. Lots of these boxes about. Kind of nice boxes, but there you go. Here's our girls. Hello, ladies. And, hmm... Maybe that's just a food trough over by the cow barn because I do not see the signs of a water mod here. Oh, although these chickens can go darn near anywhere by the look of things. they got a pretty good pen. I don't know about the plastic fencing. That probably wouldn't last, but there you are. Hi, ladies. Not a bad little yard you got here. 
I take it there's no collecting spot. You simply drop your eggs where you feel you must. Good enough. Alright, so there's our chicken pen. Doo -doo -doo. So the first little sort of uh, grape I've got, and it may or may not be founded, is the fact that when we come out to the fields, i.e. fields, all right, there's no indicator, either on the mini-map, on the main map, or, and we might as well go there now, on the info sheet, as to what sort of fields you actually do or do not own. They're all numbered with a white letter, so I'm going to assume we own all of them as opposed to none of them, or we own none of them as opposed to all of them. It is really hard to tell. Um, either way, there's an awful lot of stuff that's ready to harvest, and it's a little bit of everything, including quite a lot of corn. And again, I wish if map authors were going to start you with, is it ripe? Yeah, a whole bunch of ripe corn. They should consider the fact that corn harvesting equipment is not cheap. So, if they don't start you with any, you're a little bit hooped right off the get-go, aren't you? Yeah, I brought lots of money in. One, to bring the animals up to snuff, and two, because it is map viable objects, and there are actually quite a few. So let's have a look at the info sheet. Here we go. Um, all the standards. Now, this is only missing the English translation, and it may also be because, and entirely my fault, I do apologize, I looked at the map again after I loaded and realized I hadn't put in the... Uh, uh, mist calc, calc mist, gill mist, calc mod, that was it. So this may change. We have potatoes that can be steamed or washed. You'd hope both. Uh, seeds, oddly enough, I'm not sure why they're included there. Pigs and silage. So yes, we have piggies on the map, and that is the only added animal, which means, of course, it's a plus with me. Several places to sell things, the usual, the wood chips and the silage, we all know where those generally go. The garden center doesn't buy anything, but they will, of course, uh, sell saplings. We've got the GE Trans. I'm thinking, unless it's actually the good trans, um, buys pretty much everything except your fixed potato pro crops. Uh, we got a place here that buys your grains. The butcher shop that buys your schlacteries, which, well, that's your butcher shop and buys your pigs. Um, I believe the potatoes washed and steamed actually go to the same place your wool does. Would be nice if they would give you an actual price, though, so you know if it's even worth doing compared to normal patats. Um, you know, because we can get eight eighty nine a ton here for potatoes without doing anything other than digging them out of the ground and selling them. So, kind of nice to know if that was worthy or not. Um, usual, 22, so yeah, that's straight off the FS-15 one. Uh, here's my other, or second, sort of little complaint. Um, I don't think anybody plays maps anymore at like 800 by 600, which I think... To be able to read any of this would be the resolution you'd need to be at. Um, same thing. I mean, stuff's just tiny, tiny. You know, potato washer, lager. Okay, I can kind of make out what's going on with a lot of these. But, yeah, it would have been nice if it had been a bit bigger. That That's all. Um, which brings me, since we're on the vehicle selection page, to sort of my other gripe with the game. Everything else here is fine. There's no missions. There's no gold coins purple horseshoes, any of that, whatever. Um, my other gripe with it is this. Um, to get around the maps, as you know, we kind of like to, you know, get this guy, because he'll do 80k, which is a reasonable speed to view these maps at, I feel. All right. Now, let's uh, go in here, and uh, never mind the fattening installations. There we are. He's at the shop, which you can see here's our farm. Here's the shop. Let's uh, reset him. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. We may notice something here. I don't uh, actually have one here at the farm, but... Yeah, I do still have here. So, the reset basically doesn't. Oh, well. That may, there's worse things have happened. I mean, I've had reset points where, you know, the hitch of every single thing you bought was up against a tree. 
you know, or up against a wall or a fence that you couldn't get between or... So yeah, there are worse options. Anyway, as you can see, we are now no longer um, in the dead center of the map, which is where our farm is. You can just barely make out by field 16 where it says Hoth. Yeah, that would be us. So, uh, let's have a look around. I guess, well, here's our shop to start. Nice looking place. That's pretty cool. Big crane hoist, I guess, for, uh, no doubt some of the gear that you'd get in here would require things like that. I like the blue and the symbols. That's kind of nice. All right, so there you are. That's the shop. There's, uh, not much too different about any of them. Other than some of them are older, some of them are newer. Um, here we have the bakery, or bakery, I don't know what that is. Actually, a bakery. And also our first, uh, map viable object. Okay, there we go. Uh, error, no headline found, error, no description given. And yet they would really like it if we would, uh, press the C key and give them a quarter million dollars for this. There we go. Which, in fact, and disappointing as it is, all that does is make the barrier disappear. So, here's your tip point. And that's it. Um... Hmm. Well, perhaps there's a pickup here. Not sure. You don't see how that goes if you did actually have the production up and running. So I haven't actually come across any sites that might buy it, but there you go. Oh, it looks like we were uh, perhaps holding up traffic just a wee bit. Okay, so next, let's... Uh, actually probably go the other way if we want to get all the exciting bits in all right yes yeah sure all right as I say it's really nicely laid out map nice countryside huh it's kind of weird it's like a car parked over there or stuck over there or something so yeah good detailing I have noticed a couple of uh, little areas where there's texture overlaps and stuff where you get a fair bit of flicker going on but so it goes here's your uh, biogas plant and this is also a viable object error no headline found no description given and this one's a mere five hundred and fifty thousand dollars so we'll buy that and again all it does is take the barrier out of the way so which is kind of unfortunate because I've seen maps done with map viable object where entire areas were actually created. This would have been a blank field and then uh, you would have had this amazing biogas plant. I mean, I guess this way you get to see what you're getting, but by the same token, um, with that barrier there, short of going around and jumping the fence or finding a gap between the, uh, you know, the backing layers because it's forcing you out, right? It's basically lined up with what's supposed to be solid objects. Um, you know, it doesn't really show you what's going on anyway, unless you sort of cheeky your way in. So very, very stock FS-15 um, biogas facility, other than the fact that it costs you a half a million dollars to buy. All right, moving right along, we'll head over to the Garten Center. Okay, and pretty little place. Hmm. Now these are the in-game greenhouses, so I just sort of wonder here, are these functional greenhouses? Yep, apparently I get manure and water fill levels. So there you go, you have a greenhouse area over by the uh, garden center. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, place to store some uh, poop, so you don't have to... Uh, come individually to each little one. Oh yeah, you can keep your loader and your tractor. Here you can buy your seeds and your calc. And over here we have apparently a tip point for poop. Although I thought it made mention that you couldn't sell it on the map because it was supposed to be used for the fields and such, but that could be one of the other 9,423 map descriptions I read through before I decided on this one. 
Okay. So that is indeed the garden center. What else have we got? Uh, we've seen the biogas. Oh, alright. Uh, okay, we should probably sully forth here and go and have a look at the biomass and the uh, GE trans. Or GE trans, maybe? Alright, here we go. We've got Heiswerk. Let's have a look. Did we even look at our uh, info as to places that buy things? Biogas, biomass, fairly standard garden center. Yeah, we did. Okay, so here's our Geetrans. They buy just about everything. Alright, so that is strictly a company banner as opposed to the name of the cell point. Um, But if we look on the map, we see... Oh, this is the biomass heating plant. Holy smokes. Well, that's a little different than a little dingy gray parking lot with a kind of slanted box at one end, isn't it? My goodness. You can actually believe this thing produces for an entire town. Very cool. Oh, looks like they burned finished lumber. That's kind of uh, counterproductive, but there you go. And over here we have, this is the G-Trans, or G-E-Trans, or Getrans, I don't know. Alright, and the tip point is the only part of the building we haven't been to, right there. Hmm, nice. And again, they take... Uh, Pretty much everything, including potatoes and sugar beets. So. All right, next. We want to just head back up here. We've got another viable object down in the bottom there, so we should go have a look at. There is a sawmill, not just a lumber dump, but an actual one of Maru's sawmills on the map. So we will have a look at that momentarily. Here we go. Some of the fields are reasonably level and flat, um, kind of rectangular. But, uh, by the same token, not really. The other thing I wonder about, having played quite a few maps, is if this gap is enough. You know what I mean? I'm not sure that... Uh, uh, this is just supposition, but I'm not sure that uh, at least like hired helper functions, etc. are going to recognize that as being a gap in the field. So don't be surprised if, uh, well, I know for a fact that things like the fertilizer guy, if you put him on auto, he would do both of those fields without a blink. So, and uh, yeah, these are not small fields. Let's just quickly have a run up and have a look at the size of this thing. So there you go. You're going to get a fair bit of crop out of both of these. And you can see all the way down the other side, and it leads us into a couple of more big fields. So yeah, you got your harvest and uh, your <laughs> harvest and ready for you on this one, boy. All right, we gotta head back down here. We'll have a quick look. Interesting sky on this map. It says it's sunny, but it looks like it's about ready to storm its butt off. Oh, it is only seven o'clock in the morning. There we go. Slower down there, Charlie. All right, a big wheat symbol, and once again, oh. Get in a little further. Hmm. Okay. It's a bit of an issue. Where's the uh, buy me now thing? Oh, maybe there's another entrance way here. Let's just have a look, shall we? That's probably what it is. Nope, not there. Not there either. This is a completely separate the heck is this? Oh, just something for placeable objects, I guess. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. 
but what is uh, what the heck is with this thing why me not can buy yeah, you see what I mean like these are oh hang on here we go 350k I have just enough all right here we are and what exactly is this? Um, hmm. well, this is rather odd actually. Um, L-U, what the heck is L-U, I don't see that anywhere, um, hmm, that's rather odd, and then there's certainly nothing like that on here, so what did we just buy for, oh, I'm gonna get some more money in here just in case, what did we just buy for $350,000? A bunch of places to park vehicles. Was that the idea? A couple of porta potty. Because this really doesn't look like anything else is going on, does it? Hmm. Alright, well. Word of advice save your money on that one. It's disappointing as heck. Alright, now we need to get all the way up to. Well. All right, we got a ways to go on this one. We're going to have to pretty much check out the map. Will we stop, look both ways at a train crossing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now we've already seen all of these things. Yeah, we went in there and had a look about. our garden center with all the greenhouses. Whoopsie. One to, oh! <laughs> Here I thought I was out of his way and I glance off to the side for a second. I guess I could have turned traffic off, but yeah, like this field isn't exactly worker friendly shape, but we'll keep you busy and amused. Some slopes to it, got some shape to it. Pretty cool. In fact, this whole thing with the way this road chops through them good way to stop yourself from drawing a bunch of square fields, I'll tell you. Neat. And again, some of these gaps. Ooh. But I would imagine that the map author has tested it to at least that point where you'd know if you could actually use a piece of gear. Alright, so here we are now. Where? Where the heck are we here? Ah, okay. This is where we would sell our piggies. There you go. This is the schlactory. I wasn't sure how far we'd actually made it. So there you are. There is your sell the piggies. I do believe milk is auto-sold. Of course, you can do the stop milk and simply put a buy trigger down. There are quite a one, few different ones. If you get the uh, Milk Max mod, you get all the stuff I use on the Sask Nova one. Uh, there's our point for selling eggs right there. You see where the young lady in the blue shirt is walking from? And, uh, <laughs> I had a couch sitting outside the apartment building. Good touch. Good touch. I like about your little spurt of realism. Alright, and up here. Well, that's about the tamest field I've seen. Okay, let's quickly tip up here and see what we've got. Oh, already. This is the Gutterbahnhof. As you can see, we got our tady sugar beady stuff there. We've got a send the train away button. So I guess this is sort of the freight yard. Is what it would be on some of the more English type of maps. And then, ah, okay, this I think is where we sell the pallet goods. So. 
anything that the different things like that back ray whatever the heck that thing is um, the lumber from Maru's sumber, uh, sumber plant um, sawmill lumber plant yeah say them both at the same time see what you come up with um, <laughs> and uh, that sort of thing gets sold there so yeah like I said wow eh? start your combine up this hill you'd appreciate having something with a few hundreds of horsepowers now you'll notice oh, not there perhaps if you press all these orange lines they're actually dirt roads um, some of them leading to things you can get to and some things you can't i.e. I think one of them actually has a buy trigger on it now so we follow this one up we get up here and find out that hey it's the woolly crunchies and of course I call them that in case anybody wonders because they look woolly but they make crunchy noises so there you go uh, again not sure about the whole plastic fencing thing but there you are might work at a petting zoo and uh, here's our pallet no big auto pallet thing not really a fan of having them that far away from everything else in the world but Some people like to be able to, uh, I guess, make an actual job out of, uh, you know, each individual sort of thing. Like going to do the sheep is not just a matter of stopping by on your way to the cows and flipping some grass off. You have to load the correct gear and take the long drive. All right, here we are. Another one of these weird wheat symbols and a buy me point. So what's this one got in mind? What does it actually say? Does it say anything? It says nothing. So, what do we get? Oh, there it was. Uh, no headline, blah, blah, blah. 155K. What did we get? Hmm. <laughs> Again. I would have to ask, what the heck did I really get for 155000 Hmm, a parking lot and two sheds. Okay. Fair enough. Wow, that's a pretty cool place up there. I like that. Uh. Hmm. Alright, well. <laughs> so far I'm feeling like I've uh, about 500k that I didn't need to put onto things that I've put onto things. Alright, that's just... the heck is that supposed to even be? You get these beautiful stone buildings. Are these some kind of storage units or rental? I don't know. Anyway, there's another water supply point. I do like that building on the hill. Can't actually get there, I don't think, but there you are. Um, not sure why this particular dirt road is outlined. Other than, let's have a look on the big map. Oh, I see. It connects all the way back to the farm. And the other ones that go around the different parts of the map. All right, well, we're just quickly going to go up and have a look at the potato facility. And then uh, we'll head down that way. There we are. We've got the Kartoffel Wash and Fabric. And again, it is a buyable. There we are. Uh, 50k, that's it, eh? You charge me 300 something for basically an empty parking lot with some sheds, and this is 50k. All right, we'll buy her. Zip it over, and in we come. And here you go. Very typical place to tippy your potatoes. Place to do your potatoes. Excellent. Again, the building fits in well with the other ones in the area. Hmm. Alright. Yeah, okay. Again, the pallet symbol. Hmm, so maybe this is uh, more to do with the tip point for the potatoes. Maybe that other place accepts only the boards and the wool. I don't see a separate marked spinnery on the map. And I guess this is your steam facility. All right, cool. I've used the washer. I haven't actually used the steamed one or the conjunction of the two, whatever it may be. So very neat. Again, well done. Good looking area. 
maybe a little larger than what one would need for this, but hey, for 50k, at least you're getting, well, $50,000 worth of bricks, for heaven's sakes. Look at this place. <laughs> That's uh, actually a really bizarre structure when you look at it. But anyway, there you go. And in here... Oh, I see. Okay, this is warehousing for uh, all your tater boxes. Lovely. All right, that's the potato washing logger. Uh, is there actually any reason to go the rest of the way? Uh, yeah, actually. Let's do this. Oh, and look, there's a giant potato field. That's kind of conveniently placed. Ah, here we are on Dreary Avenue Apartments. Another rather robust looking wheat field. A little bit of cannoli, or canola if you don't actually think pasta products grow in fields. Uh, a little blank field. See, but again, there's no sell points, no buy points, so one would have to assume that you own all of it. What do we got here? Just a little water feature, as it were. Ah, so it would appear. Ah, that's kind of cool. Okay, why am I kind of bobbing up and down? Oh, am I already in the water? Oh, all right. Oh, this is a pipe, hey? Where does it go? And nowhere. All right, well, interesting. I thought it might come up to a place you could load water or something, but no. Now, we need to figure out how to get to the Schweinery. And it would appear that we've got an orange line just up ahead that'll take us there. So, there's a nice little meadow on the left. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, just a slight distraction. Oh no, this is the direction we would have been going in. Hello? Hmm. Hmm. Well, again, I guess we've got to uh, find another way in, perhaps. Oh, I see. Okay, there is, too. Whoops. Well, nice to know there's no clip on that fence. Pretty much everything else there is, as that will demonstrate. <clears> hmm. <throat> Yeah, I think I can get in through this side. Not the easiest little bit of road to find. And... Well, we might as well... No, we'll go up here first. Try and stick to a bit of a plan. Alright, all the way around here. Huh. Alright, that wasn't... Uh, really what I expected. Hmm. Yeah, see, I thought this was going to take us to where that uh, other little orange buy point was. Isn't that odd? Hmm. In fact, this is just the back of our farm. So... way and see if we can find our way through the other side, shall we? Whoopsie. Almost looks like there's something through there. Walled, eh? Oh, that's just another field. I think that's the forest area, and just a reference to it, this uh, wild on the map, or walled, here we go. Oh, there we are. Here's the uh, sawmill itself. Again, the stock Maru sawmill. Excellent. And I guess walled is just the forest, because there doesn't seem to be anything else there. Although, again, what was that? Yeah, we got to find our way... 
we go back this way, find our way into where the pigs are, it's not the easiest thing to get to by the looks of it. So, there's a water point there. Should we go this way? Ooh, just barely make the corner. Then up. Wow, it's a long way around from where we were at the other one. We could have kept going here and it would have eventually taken us back there. Hmm. Uh, I believe this one. Alright. Oh, here's our silage pit. Just outside the farm. Very cool. I hadn't actually noticed that one before. Alright, here we go. And... See if we hit a buy point on this side. There we go. Uh, 55k. Let's pay it. And this should take us up to our pigs. There we go. Water spot place for your gear. Oh, it's got the uh, pig fodder machine. It's kind of cool. If we come up here and hit the F1, you'll see we can bring washed potatoes and water. And, oh, this is for steaming potatoes. Oh, I see. Huh. So I wonder what that other machine hmm, down at the potato place was. Alright, here's our usual pig gear here. Liquid poop, solid poop, and piggies. Excellent. Hmm. Yeah, I thought that was one of the pig fodder machines. Well, there you go. Maybe you can feed it to your pigs. <laughs> Alright. And that's just about what there is to see here. Just about. Um, let's see if I can find this last hall as it's noon. this way and should be a little cut here perfect fairly narrow little bit of road eh? in we go and ah okay it's exactly what it is is a haul to store vehicles okay so there you go guys that's uh, basically been our look at the map um, again this is uh, done by two more has done quite a bit of uh, modding here. So Altenheim, it's, uh, yeah. Again, you need to, uh, mods are included. I don't think you need to actually unzip this one, but there is a couple included, but there is also, so again, make sure you read the description if you do go to download it, and there will be a link to the download, of course. Um, so make sure you read his description and grab the mods. There's not that many. I mean, it's uh, animation, map, trigger, viable objects, um, and a couple of the, uh, I believe, multi-fruit, standard, and extended, and that's pretty much it. So uh, there you go. That's been our look. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you're having, again, a great Christmas. If you're seeing this after Christmas, well, I hope it was a great one for you. And uh, above all, take care of each other, folks. This has been Species 7. Ciao for now.